Hey everybody and welcome to the new video. So today's video is yet another review. We are going to be looking at the Toner TC777 USB condenser microphone. This company reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to make a review video of their microphone, and I gladly said yes. As someone who owns a condenser mic already, I wanted to be able to... Yeah, my entire mic stand just came off my desk. That's great. <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna be an unboxing video, a setup, and a mic test. And I can't wait to show you guys, and I can't wait to open this thing up. So let's get started. Let me fix my mic stand first. So. All right, so here's another look at the box. It is a nice black finish on the outside. It's got this nice little shine on the actual mic. Uh, toner logo right there, all the info, two year warranty. And on the back, it's just like your serial numbers and a bunch of stuff like that. And stickers. Okay, so the first thing you see when you open the box is the pop filter that it comes with. Um, you also have your nice little toner instruction manual. And here is your two-year warranty that it comes with. And basically, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple packaging. It all comes there, like there's not really much to it. Uh, I like how it's like straight into the point, very simplistic. Ah, uh, so it looks like it comes with both a windscreen and a pop filter, which is really nice. Here is the shock mount that it comes with. So in here are little elastic bands, which is something new because on my other microphone, the bands that are inside of here are, I'm not sure what material this is exactly called, this little like shock part right here with the wires. I guess to put into simple terms, this feels like a ponytail or like a hair tie right there. It's covered in like little cloth pieces, but this one is an actual rubber band that's just simple. And of course the shock mount that this comes with is much smaller. And I kind of like the simplisticness of this entire thing about how it's nothing, nothing too fancy as it is indeed a USB microphone. And the plus side, it comes with a nice little mini tripod. This microphone is very good for podcasting, especially when you have this nice little handy tripod that could just sit right in front of you. It's pretty simple. Um, podcasting is actually one of the things that the toner microphone is meant for, as well as gaming and making commentary videos. If you take off the windscreen, this is what the microphone looks like. It's pretty simple. Nice little toner logo right there if it wants to come into focus. All right, so this is the official microphone test for the TC777 USB condenser microphone by Toner. The audio you are hearing right now is coming from my Canon G7X. This is a camera that a lot of YouTubers have, and so you probably are familiar with this kind of audio. Um, if you know anything about the G7X, it doesn't really have the best audio. That's what a lot of YouTubers and people who have this camera like to complain about. And I have to agree, it doesn't use the best audio as it is just a built-in internal microphone. And also the placement isn't really the best as whenever you're holding your camera, your fingers will naturally go on top of the microphone and it doesn't sound good at all. The audio you are listening to right now is coming from the TC777. It is great audio. I actually tested it a little bit before recording just so I could get a feel on what it is. Um, and I'm getting really good input levels. Um, it is currently on the default right in the middle of how much volume this thing is actually taking in. At first, I was a little worried that the microphone wasn't gonna be picking up a lot of volume because as I'm speaking right now, I'm looking at the input level and the volume level is only going towards the middle and I thought that was gonna be a problem. I thought it was gonna be too quiet, but after listening to it back, it was just fine. And I even went ahead and I put the input volume to the max amount that it could take in, meaning that this microphone will pick up everything and it was was too loud so that's good because I know that with previous microphones I've owned in the past I've had to put the input volume all the way up for it to actually work properly not with this microphone if you just have it at the default settings you're good to go so I'm actually gonna go a step further and I'm going to do a bump test on this microphone. I know that there have been times where I'm recording and I accidentally hit my microphone or I accidentally knock into it or make it knock over. And usually the audio sounds terrible in the microphone because the microphones I've used in the past, they, they pick up everything. And of course, things like that are gonna happen. So that's exactly what I'm gonna test. I'm gonna see how exactly it sounds 
and if it's good or bad. And basically what I want to test is how well the shock mount actually works on this microphone. So when I knock into the microphone, this is what it sounds like. Okay. Now I'm going to do a test where I readjust my stand and put it back down because I know that is another thing that I have to do sometimes when I'm recording. So I'm going to pick it up, do some adjustments, whatever I need to do, and put it back down. That's what it sounds like. And of course, this wouldn't really be in my actual video because I would then edit it out later in the editing process. But still, sometimes if you're recording live, these things are gonna happen. And I just wanted to do a small little test on that. So once again, this is what it sounds like when you knock into it. And also, this is what it sounds like when you accidentally knock it over. But overall, I'm very impressed with the Toner Condenser USB mic. It is very good for it being a condenser mic because if you know anything about microphones, you'll know that condenser mics usually have to have a phantom power supply, such as this one. And it requires a lot of like XLR cables and other things like that. But this one, it's quick, it's easy, it's just a USB. There's no power supply that's required for this. It's just a plug in and go. And that's just the beauty of this microphone. And that's exactly what the toner staff wanted to achieve through this. It's quick and easy, and that's exactly what people want. So I would definitely recommend this microphone if you're just starting out. If you want this microphone, you could find a link in the description. So that does it for today's video. Again, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Toner for sending me this amazing microphone. I know that I'm definitely going to be using this microphone for things like podcasting. If you did not know, I do have a podcast. It's called Real Talk Central, and you could find it on various platforms such as Spotify, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker, YouTube. The link to my podcast can also be found in the description, and I would really appreciate it if you guys go and gave it a listen. Also, we do have an Instagram. It is called at Real Talk Central Podcast, all one word. And this is a place where you could actually DM if you want to be a guest on the show. Just send us a DM and we can make it happen. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.